Hi, my name is Soleil and welcome back to Little Raiders Corner. We are starting off the last week of Draconathon, which is pretty wild because once Draconathon ends, I start grad school. So I'm a little stressed. <laughs> it's gonna be great, but I am a little stressed. I just got back from doing a little outdoor hike, hence the slight dishevelment <laughs> and the slight sheen of sweat. I am going to make a snack for the Draconathon live show that we have in about three hours. I figured I'm going to get started on the snack and then I'm going to do some general cleaning up and that's about it for my day. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make a different kind of fire flakes that I made last year and this is not based off of any online recipe. I just want them to taste good and last year the recipe that I tried was not my thing. I almost went out and bought some ingredients for this and then I realized that if I bought corn flakes or frosted flake cereal or any kind of the American cereal that I don't ever eat that I don't really like, I'm going to use like a little bit of it for the recipe and then the rest is going to go to waste because I do not like that cereal at all and I'm never going to eat it. So we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to make something entirely different based off of one of my mom's like recipes and it's just going to hopefully taste good. So I'm going to try using oats and then browning it with some butter and sugar and then using a little bit of like sesame seed oil and then adding some spice to it because I think that's going to taste fantastic. That sounds good. That has the caramelized texture that I wanted in my fire flakes last year without the weird crunch of not melted sugar that I ended up and then like the recipe I used last year basically just tasted like sugary chili powder, which just wasn't that great. So that is what we're going to try to do right now. Let's go. Okay, so I finished the snack. I'm getting ready for the live show that's happening in a little bit. Let's have a taste. So I did taste test it while I was making it because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't terrible. So I kind of already know, but let's have a little taste. Okay. Let's get like a good chunk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is exactly what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. So I basically decided to go with the chili oil. And then I added some, it was chili lime powder. I think it was a more specific kind of chili powder, but basically added some of that as well. So it's spicy with the oil, but then also there's a little bit of that crunchy spice on top and the hint of lime is excellent. So I am having a gosh darn good time. I also thought if you wanted a bit more of a kick as like a crunchy topping, you could always add hot Cheetos on top as like a little crunch, a little powdery form. That could be interesting. But I don't really want to go to the store right now. So this is going to be my snack for the live show, but I have a feeling I'm going to eat it all before the show actually starts. So. Hello, it is Saturday. No, it is not. It is Sunday. <laughs> All right, folks, we are making a bold decision. I am going to bike to the nearest thrift store and I'm going to see what I can find. I just changed into a little biking outfit with some of the classic medicinal herbs, a good time. Let's bike, let's listen to some audiobook and see what we can find. Hey. 
All right, the rifting has been completed. I found some blouses for work, which is good because <laughs> I didn't realize how many different things you need for working in an office. So luckily I was able to get a couple blouses and a couple more skirts and such, which is good because business casual is very expensive. Anyways, I'm waiting for the bus right now. I got a couple of records and I got some art. Let's see if I can hold it up. And I got two that look kind of like this. So I think it's going to be great. <laughs> two people just walked by and I was vlogging. So love that for me. Yeah, I think for today I am going to... Maybe get a couple donuts on my way back home because I'm really feeling donutty. And I think I'm going to finally decorate my walls because I've been meaning to do this for so long. But I was going to do it last week and then I was like ready to go and then I couldn't find the nails that I had bought. Like I bought nails, I know that I did, and I couldn't find them. I think the bus is gonna come soon. Yeah, um, but I had to buy more nails last week and then it was already too late, so I'm going to hang up some stuff this weekend and I'm really excited about it. All right, we are back. So I had some donuts, except they were from Dunkin' Donuts and Dunkin' Donuts compared to Krispy Kreme, no. Oh boy, they were fine. I ate them, like they were, they were fine. Just in comparison to Krispy Kreme, like the competition, I mean, come on. So this is what I got from the thrift store. So I got this bad boy right here. And then I got the matching. Ooh. So it's crap apple and black walnut. So I'm gonna hang those up. Also going to hang up my map of Zadia from the Dragon Prince. Also going to hang up these vinyls that I got. I got three of them, I think. There might be a double somewhere in there. And then I'm going to also hang up my VG, my VHS tape. <laughs> uh, so yeah, though that all that footage is going into my apartment tour though, which I've been working on for months. So you'll see it one day. It's just my apartment is not done. So one day you will see it and we'll get there. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to go do that. Hello, so I just got a package in the mail. I thought it was I thought it was something completely different that I had ordered, but then I opened it up and was really confused. And then so I got an arc of Dragon Blood Ring. I I'm not sure if I want to read the sequel. Um so anyways, the moment I saw it, even before I had considered if I am going to read it, I would love to do a giveaway for this. I was able to do a giveaway with the last arc I received for the first book. I want to make sure that this goes to either a Puerto Rican reader or a Latinx reader. So let me know if you would be interested in receiving this copy. If I'm not able to give it to a Latinx or Puerto Rican reader, I'd love to give it to someone who really enjoyed the first book. But let me know down in the comments or DM me on either Instagram or Twitter. I want to make sure that this goes to a good home, especially because I am not really interested in reading this. So let me know and I will make sure that I can send it your way. So on a related but slightly different note, I finished my Draconathon TBR and I finished it a lot earlier than I thought I would, which is wild. So. The related note is I did finish rereading Blaze Wrath Games, 
we discussed it in our closing live and basically my thoughts overall were i did enjoy it a little bit less than i did my first read through and i think that is literally just because my reading tastes have changed i've noticed over the past year that i haven't really been enjoying more younger voiced protagonists so between the first time that i read this and now i can really actually tell which is interesting based on rereading the same book that i'm just not connecting with more younger voiced ya books and i could definitely see that in this i still think that the world building and overall the plot with dragons and the different perspective it brings to that is just really well done and fascinating i just am not connecting with the protagonist anymore and her choices because it is very much a younger protagonist based off of the things that she does and says which i just haven't really enjoyed but besides for that i still really enjoyed the overall dragon aspects of the book so yeah i ended up giving this actually a 3.5 but i think i rounded it up on goodreads and for the other book that i finished i finally finished reading a natural history of dragons i did switch to the audiobook towards the end because i just did not have a lot of time to read it on my commute and it was just so much easier to listen to it while i was walking to work and walking back home and yeah i ended it up giving it a three stars mainly because so i knew going in that it was a slow paced book and there are quite a few moments that i was really bored with what was going on but then all of a sudden something really exciting would happen but mainly the last chapters like little bit of the book is what kind of made it a three star for me i just didn't really care about what was happening to the characters towards the end i never really connected with the protagonist of this one and her husband is like a big hit with other people he's fine in my mind and there's also something um pretty dramatic that happens towards the end of this and i just really didn't care about it so yeah but otherwise i i definitely think i'm going to keep reading with the books because besides for those things the other things that were bother me are things that i think won't be really happening in the other books i'm pretty sure that the author meant to do it this way but the way that she interacts with the new places that she's going and new people and societies that she's meeting really bothered me i'm pretty sure that was the point because she learns later to be better <laughs> So I, I think that was very much intentional. She learns from those mistakes and realizes what she was doing wrong and all of these things. So I think that won't be as present in the other books because she knows what she's doing, hopefully. So yeah, but even, even if it was intentional, it was just really bothering me. Besides for that, I enjoyed the other aspects of the book and how it was basically like a biological and scientific look at dragons and like anthropological look at dragons. That was really cool. So that was it for me and Draconathon. It's been a wild month. I think the live shows and the activities have definitely been my favorite part. I wasn't able to get to all the activities that I wanted to every single weekend. I was planning on sewing a a stuffed animal dragon and i was so excited about it and i still really want to do it but every weekend i have way too much going on with preparing for grad school and working a full-time job and i'm about to start full-time grad school <laughs> by the time you're seeing this i already will have started full-time grad school so let's just all hope that it's going really well <laughs> because i'm so stressed about it i think i think it's going to be great but it's just the anticipation of all of it so yeah i wasn't able to do that but everything else has been lovely of course like doing this readathon every year it's it's wonderful because of the participants and being able to interact with so many people and talk about the group book and all of these things so that was lovely we'll have details at some point on our draconathon social medias about what next year is going to look like but that was it for me. So thank you so much for joining me on my week four of Draconathon. I've had a blast. I love reading these dragon books and just dedicating the whole month to it for all of August so much. 
So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and definitely subscribe so you know when I post next. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!